In this tutorial I'm going to be continuing the construction of a mountain bike wheel and specifically I'm going to be making a tyre. Uh, so in previous tutorials when we looked at the rim we talked about the two dimensions, the 21 by 622, that was the 21 mil inner rim width and the 622 bead seat diameter. On, uh, I had a look at one of my mountain bike tyres, a 2.3 inch wide one, and around the outside you've got numbers printed. One of those sets of numbers is 55 by 622. So the 622 is the bead seat diameter, that's the same as the rim, uh, same as the number that defines the rim, and it's equivalent to a 26 inch wheel. And the 55 is the width of the tyre, so that's 55 mil, which is approximately the same as 2.3 inch wide. So, in this tutorial I'm going to be, it's going to be similar to the rim tutorial, we're going to be using the revolve tool, uh, using the sketcher to do a cross section first, but also I'm going to be touching on Python scripting, which is a way of adding functionality to FreeCAD um, and scripting the program basically. So. Um, Without further ado, let's look at the program. <coughs> right, so here's one I made earlier, really. Um, this will be... Uh, I'm not going to go into how exactly how I did this, or I'm not going to actually go through it step by step, because one, it took me forever. I was really pushing the, the boundaries of what FreeCAD could do and two, it was crashing literally every sort of five or ten minutes on me so I don't really want it to crash today, hopefully it won't um, but obviously I've done a lot of work with the sketcher in previous tutorials so I'd suggest have a look at those um, they should cover most of the things anything I haven't covered there I'll try and talk about now so the main difference being in this sketch is that there are a lot of curves, um, there are a lot of arcs that I've added with the arc tool and yeah there's basically a lot of curves obviously because the tyre is that kind of shape. Uh, so what I recommend you try, what you do is create a bounding box with construction lines. Again I've covered construction lines in a previous tutorial. So we know the tyre is whoops, where's that gone? Is 55 mil wide. So I started out with 55 mil between these lines, and rather than do 55 mil here, I've left 5 mil to add a bit of uh, to add the tread to the top of the tyre. Okay, so that defines the the outer bounds of the uh, of the sketch, and then I've used arcs and anywhere where the arcs are mirrored, so like this arc and this arc, I've set the vertical distance to zero. So that's using uh, this, this constraint here. Um, so that gives something of symmetry. However, I, I tried to use the symmetry constraint and I found that that was really um, FreeCAD really didn't like it so I, I had to find a workaround without that basically but anyway what are the other key points oh yeah and uh, I've got two more construction lines here for the 21 mil uh, rim width which is the critical number so what I've done is I've set tangential constraints where the arcs touch the the bounding box. So here, 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 and also the um, the inside of the 21 mil rim. If you imagine the rim comes here, and the bead sits curves round and sits underneath the rim. Um, so then, when you pressurise the tyre, obviously it doesn't it hooks in and doesn't come off. Oh, what are the other key points to note? Uh, I've got two straight lines here that are parallel. 
Um, uh, yeah, I basically it was a it was a nightmare to create this sketch. It took a long, long time. But um, if you're going to try it yourself, uh, I might suggest you try and simplify it, maybe, or um, or just have a go, see how you get on, and uh, leave some comments on my uh, video if you like, and. Uh, um, yeah, just let me know how you got on with it, really. So, that's the sketch. I'll close that. Then, from there, it's just a case of... Uh, where are we? I'll turn something off. Turn that off for now. Yeah, it's just a case of what we did before in the previous tutorials use the revolve tool to revolve that sketch to make make the tire shape so if I set the angle to 70 again we can have a look at that there we go so that, that looks pretty good that looks a bit like a tyre. Um, yeah, not too bad. So now the next thing is we're going to use, because there's obviously we need to make a radial array of tread around the outside of the tyre. And at the moment, um, because FreeCAD's in development, there is not a tool to do this. But what we can do is use a custom Python script. Now, uh, I got this idea from Salkson2, who's, uh, if you look at my YouTube uh, channel, he's on my friends list. Um, he's done a really good series of tutorials about building an, uh, an engine. And um, he actually wrote a Python script to do a radial array. I think it was for. Um, camshaft gear to put the teeth on it and then he realized that the developers of FreeCAD had actually put a really nice radial array script in there anyway but yeah, you can read about that on his blog anyway um, so I'm going to use the one that the developers made which is if you look at your FreeCAD installation uh, mine's Linux obviously it'll be different for Windows and Mac but in this folder in the folder where your FreeCAD installation resides under mod part design there are scripts there are a few scripts <coughs> excuse me and this one is a script for doing a radial array so it's, it contains a set of FreeCAD Python commands basically. Uh, hopefully in later tutorials I might even try writing a couple of scripts so we can have a little go at that. <coughs> so simply uh, oh I'm gonna have to yeah I'll run the uh, I'll run the script for you I'm gonna have to pause it there and come back. Actually, I'll set up the script and then and then run it. <coughs> 